It's Ramsey Dewey over here at the Extreme Fight Club. She and I are going to test out some flippy dippy Instagram jujitsu. I picked out what is happening with that rubber ducky. Okay. We're going to test out some flippy dippy Instagram jujitsu. Now, I picked out these techniques because they looked promising. They, I, I didn't pick these out because they looked dumb or anything. They looked promising while I was sitting on the toilet, thumbing through my phone, looking at Instagram jujitsu videos, thinking, hey, that's a position I find myself in. Let's see if I can make this work. Because, you know, some of these things are gold and some of them, when you actually try them out, don't work so well. And, you know, some of them are very situationally specific. This first one, um, I tried this with Xiao yesterday and he went all limp fish and it didn't work when the other guy does nothing. So some techniques require a certain level of dynamic resistance. We're going to start in a 50-50 position, right? And I'm going to reach over here and start lifting this up and put my weight on this foot, which is pretty good because that means he's not going to be able to uh, straight ankle lock me if I stand up here. I'm going to take this knee and I'm going to bring it here, but I'm going to sit, which is going to start rotating him, at least in theory, so I can move over to the back. Okay, when he's cooperating 100%, this so far seems to work pretty well, although I think uh, I need to work on that transition a little more. Let's try that again. Okay, and the thing with any new technique, especially like a jiu-jitsu technique, I mean, these are complex gross motor movements, so we got to rep them out a lot. So I stand up, weave this in here, and I think I'm catching my hand here. This is going to take a little bit of momentum on the drop, to make him turn. Oh, that didn't work out a, the way I wanted it to that time. Let's try it on the other side. Because in theory, like, when I looked at this technique, I thought, man, that, that could be a really great part of my game. All right. Start to stand up. Bring this over here. And then he sits. But, yeah. I'm, I'm noticing right now, I'm not saying this, this is bad jujitsu or a bad technique, but it's, I'm noticing it's going to be a very situationally specific technique depending on how this guy reacts. So if he's fighting me in a certain way, I can see it working. If he's, if he's just sort of dead weight, it's going to be hard. So let's try another one. All right, this next technique comes from BJJEE. I think that stands for Eastern Europe. And it looked really cool because I love cradles, but... Let's, let's see how practical this is going to be. So we're going to start with a near side uh, half Nelson and a far side um, grabbing the arm right here. Okay. And he's going to post up on that outside leg. Right? And so I'm going to abandon this grip and reach behind the leg. And this isn't working because his knee's down. Get up, get up on the foot right there. We got to here, lift that knee up. Like stand up right here. Yeah, there we go. So now, man, this is tough. Now he's going to reach in here, grab this. And now, okay. I can already see a couple of problems with this because it requires him to be in a very specific position for this to work. Otherwise, I, I can't get the arm through. And uh, this position, sure, this will happen sometimes. Like, uh, let's see, if I grab this and push down, she try to escape. You do what you can to get out, right? So if I'm pinning the head and, and locking this arm here, there's not much you can do with the upper body. Here, what else can you do? Yeah, so, so he's probably going to focus on using his back leg right here. But if I abandon this grip and reach behind this leg, his leg is way stronger than my arm. Now I don't have the, the pressure to push his head down, and I definitely don't have the strength to bicep curl his whole leg. And even if, even if I start to get it through, she straighten your leg out. Yeah, he's going to strip that right off. So, in theory, I like what this technique does, but I don't see me being able to get it against anybody who's fighting back with a modicum of intelligence, to be honest. The strength and size. Yeah, and if they're stronger or adept at grappling in any way, shape, or form, forget about it. Next. This next Instagram jiu-jitsu technique we're going to try out comes from Igor Linz. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's a bl black belt in jiu-jitsu and he makes some really cool looking videos. And I saw this one and I thought, hey, that looks pretty cool. But when we tried this out, 
So we're in Nima, and you know, we're gonna switch sides. And now he's gonna grab my leg like he's trying to come up for a single leg. Okay, and this is okay. And then we can turn over into an arm bar. And that's, that's fine, that's great. You know, in theory and practice, this, this works exactly the way it does in the video. The, the one problem I have with this video is nobody I train with actually grabs my leg like that. So, I mean, if I grab this and I start pushing, you know, in, in, in theory, I mean, that's, that's the idea behind it, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. that. That could happen. It's just none of my training partners do this. Like nobody tries a single leg on me when I'm in knee mount. So um, it's, it's a fine technique. It's a good technique. If people are trying to do that to you, it's, it's totally going to work. It's just when... I brought this idea to the gym and I thought, oh, I'm going to try that at my next jiu-jitsu class. It never happened because nobody tries to single leg me from knee mount. So, again, like Igor makes cool videos, go check him out. But, again, be realistic about what your training partners are actually going to do and what positions you're actually going to be in when you train. That's all. This next technique comes from Knight Jiu-Jitsu, which is Eli Knight's channel. He makes some really cool stuff on Instagram and YouTube and other social media. And yeah, I love mounted triangles, so I wanted to check out this technique and see how it works. So we're in a side control position, and the guy on the bottom is reaching up for an underhook here, right? And so I'm going to whizzer and come over the top of the head, and I'm going to move around to the other side, okay? So now I've got this arm trap. He's probably going to cross face here. So maybe come around this side. Because, yeah, it's, it's what he wants to do is escape. So I'm going to get my body weight here. I'm going to pin it. And then from there, since this arm is pinned, I can step over into a mounted triangle, triangle arm bar, etc. And I like the way that one feels. So far, I'm, I'm liking this one. I, I can see myself using this one when, when I roll and when I spar. So again, because this is, this is something that happens all the time. People are going to get this underhook because what does he want to do with this? He wants to get up. He wants to stand up. He wants to get in on a single leg. He wants to take me down, right? So this is a very realistic situation. This is a situation I deal with a lot when I roll. So again, this is, this is why I like this technique so far. So again, wizard down on the head, move over here, right? And then I've got that arm trapped. This cross face comes up, I push it down and into that mounted triangle. And whew, I think we have a winner. I like this one. So far, Eli Knight hasn't let me down with his flippy dippy Instagram jujitsu. So, if you like watching flippy dippy jiu-jitsu moves on YouTube or Instagram, remember it's not enough to just look at them once on your phone. You've got to do something very important that I'm always telling you to do. It's called get out there and train. Thanks for watching. Now go do that. Brought to you by xmarshall.com. Use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything. That's xmarshall.com. High quality training gear and fight apparel. And since everybody always asks if you have questions that you want answers to, just leave them in the comments below. I read your comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this groovy music. Now get out there and train.